on the 15th of September 2022, something big happened. This thing has been hyped up for the last few years, as far back as 2014, and it is so significant that the world's energy consumption is predicted to go down by 0.2% because of it. It's a big deal. If you went to Hack Nude at any point in time in the last two weeks, you would have probably seen an article or two about it. So what is this thing? Oh, so the Ethereum blockchain has had a software update that makes the beacon chain into itself, hence the merge. So why is this integration such a big deal? And how does it affect the world's energy supply? For that, we can look to the article, What Works and What Doesn't? The Emerging Battle Between Proof of Work and Proof of Stake by the fabulous Victor Fabisola. Understanding proof of work and proof of stake is key to understanding what the merge is. Let's look at Bitcoin as an example of proof of work. Remember, to earn a Bitcoin, one has to mine it, to do complex mathematical calculations on a computer to say that you've mined a single Bitcoin. It's energy intensive, needs a lot of hardware, but is quite secure because of the investment needed to synthesize a large quantity of fraudulent claims. Proof of stake is different. Instead of asking for someone's computer to do song and dance to prove that a transaction was legitimate, they simply need someone to stake tokens to validate transactions. Under this system, disruptors would risk losing the value of their tokens when they validate false transactions. This means that proof of stake doesn't incur the same massive energy requirements that proof of work does. But what does that mean for Ethereum exactly? Tolu Ejetin Mobi explains this in everything you need to know about the Ethereum merge. In essence, Ethereum is shifting from proof of work to proof of stake by merging with the beacon chain. In this instance, validators stake their ether as collateral for the proof of stake system. In exchange for putting some of their tokens on the line, they'll get a percentage of the gas fee for validating. So why does this matter? Remember, proof of work systems are electricity intensive. Historically, Ethereum consumes 112 terawatt hours a year, equivalent to the energy consumption of the Netherlands, which comes with a carbon footprint the same size as Hong Kong's. It's estimated that the switch to proof of stake will cut energy consumption by a very modest 99.95%. Not small. In practical terms, what does that mean? Well, a couple of things, all based around the fact that energy requirements have fallen considerably. In the article written prior to the merge, Samuel Ilozumba explains two likely consequences. First is that Ethereum is going green, because, you know, 99.5% drop. That's obviously a good thing considering the summer that we just went through. The other is scalability. The merge doesn't solve any of scalability's problems in the short term, though it does have some long-term benefits. In his own article, How Web3 Will Be Changed by the Merge, Bader Youssef puts it best, saying, it's not even blockchain that will be the end all be all for Web3. Rather, it will be an amalgamation of technologies that allows for the true creation of Web3. Blockchain serves as just a part of that stack, similar to how a backend is part of a full stack application. That's basically what the merge is. It's a big change, especially in the area of energy requirements. But it's also part one out of five on Ethereum's total roadmap. Modern Emirate covers this in his article, The Ethereum Roadmap from the Merge to the Splurge. Right now, we're at part one, the merge. Next is the surge, where Ethereum actually gets scaled up. It's followed by the verge, that brings significant changes to the blockchain's data structure. And it then is followed by the purge, which deals with tech debt. And finally, the splurge, which is about quantum computing. Frankly, there are too many things for me to cover about the merge in a single video, at least at a reasonable time span. So if anything I said interests you, if anything piqued your fancy, please take a look in the description below for links to all of our stories from our talented contributors. They really are some of the best articles we've had on this topic.